Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here, and we are back playing Star Fox Adventures. And I feel a lot better today. My voice is nearly back to normal. <clears throat> I still have a bit of a cough, which sucks, believe me. But I'm okay to LP, so... I just basically getting a little bit behind on videos. Actually, just re recording this one about an hour and a half before you guys get to see it. Which is strange for me. Normally I'll be LPing on the weekends and this and that, and you guys won't see it for days after I've recorded it. This one's going to go up in about an hour and a half, so hopefully I can get it edited and, and put together that soon. Shouldn't be any cuts, and that makes, usually makes the videos a lot easier to put together, so... Hey, it's Lightfoot Village. The Lightfoot are actually another tribe, but we won't get to meet them for a while yet. I think we actually get to meet them on the way back from Cape Claw, if I remember correctly. I mean, yeah, huge spoilers, we're going to get to meet the, the Lightfoot tribe before too long, but... Not right now. That was an interesting little move there when Fox stabbed his staff upwards. Get out of here. Boom. Yeah. It's stabbed on the stomach. Oh, this guy's pretty cool here. The 60 scarabs to enter Cape Claw. <laughs> what? Okay. Om nom nom nom. God. That's really strange. Like, I couldn't figure out the first time I played this why they... Damn it, I rolled. You're not supposed to be able to hit me when I'm rolling. Uh, I couldn't figure out the first time I... Why they did that the first time I played. Because it just seemed like kind of a waste of scarabs for no good reason. But uh, there's actually a reason for it. And I'll explain it in just a bit. It's going to become a little bit more clear. You sort of have to be able to break the fourth wall while you're playing and recognize that some of the things that happen in-game only happen because of certain circumstances outside of the game or of, of uh, because of reasons that don't make any sense in, as far as their relevance to the plot but do make sense as far as what the game designers were thinking when they were putting everything together. Anyway, we're going down to this like kind of like well thing right now because there really there's no... you're not required to go down to the bottom of this but there are a couple of fuel cells down here that we want to pick up Actually, I think there's like three or four, so... Yeah, there's one there, if you just keep jumping from one platform to the next. Oh, that was a cool little animation there. I like that one better than Link's falling animations. There's one, then there's a second one, and there's more. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, I didn't need a compass to find that, did I? Okay, so there's three total, and you got a bunch of shrooms, too, if you need them. I think I'm... Yeah, I'm full on shrooms right now, so... I don't need to pick any of those up. And now it's just a matter of climbing back up these ladders and going out to the other side of the well. Because as you can see on the map there, we came in from the north. We were going to want to exit to the south. So, can I zoom in on the map? Oh, that's cool. I don't do that very often, but yeah, you can see that's the environment we're in. We want to head eventually back around to the south. Now here is the reason they made you pay 60 scarabs. If you didn't have the staff rocket booster, then you wouldn't be able to leave this well. You could fall into the bottom and get permanently trapped here and have to just reload your last save. Or if you saved at the bottom of the well, you would probably would be stuck down there. Now, by requiring you to pay 60 scarabs before letting you go to Cape Claw, they ensure that you progressed far enough in the game that you have the medium scarab, scarab bag, which we have. It holds uh, 100 scarabs. Now, in order for you to get that scarab bag, you have to have already done the part of the game where you get the staff rocket booster. And so by requiring you to pay the 60 scarabs to get here, they ensure that you have the items you need to get yourself out of the well if you do happen to get caught down there. So that makes sense in the end. And they get to include this little turtle guy who eats the scarabs. I'm not really sure where those go. I mean, after he eats them, they're so like, they fall in like some big pit, and then like the city worker comes around at once a month and like, empties out all the scarabs. Is it like the wishing well, where like the city just takes the money? Um, we got some big guys here. These guys sometimes are actually easier to take out with uh, the fire blaster than with the combos. As you can see, they don't really line up appropriately with the combos. Whereas the small ones took two full combos to beat, those guys take like two and a half, and it's kind of awkward sometimes. Tricky spider sense is tingling. <laughs> wow. Actually looked like he had some tingling going on for a second there. But we'll ignore that and continue on here. Just gonna assign the fire blaster because I see that I'm gonna need it here. This isn't really a puzzle as much as it is a minor slowdown. Don't know why I fired two there. I could have sworn I only hit the button. Oh, well that's convenient. Hey, look! There's a fuel cell there. We probably should come back for that once I 
climb out of the water. Yeah, this is Cape Claw, if I didn't say. I don't think I did, actually. This is Cape Claw. It's an actually an interesting little environment. We're going to be doing a little bit of a search mission for a bit here. And uh, you can actually... I'll go ahead and take a look around and show you the place. We got a uh, new kind of dinosaur over there. Uh, some more stuff. What, 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 don't be shooting stuff at me. I'm trying to show people. But that is actually going to become uh, an important temple later, I think. I think that might even be the ocean force point. I'm not entirely sure, though. We don't want to go down here yet, do we? Oh. No, I think we might, actually. Let's go ahead and talk to that other, to that dinosaur. I don't even know what that tribe is called. I think they're called High Tops? I think that's right. You see the staff glows, but w right here, we have a, uh, a hole in the ground. Uh, Eric is asserting that they're actually called long necks, which seems to make sense to me. Yeah, if you guys, if you guys haven't seen Land Before Time, you're way too young to be watching these videos. Pass, yeah, I didn't bother talking to him. He takes 25 scarabs to uh, get him to get out of the way, so I just went ahead in the inventory and gave it to him. No fuss about it. See? Much easier than fighting him with the combos. Although it does take magic, so there's kind of a trade-off there. Anyway, let's whoa, let's talk to this guy without falling in the when water. I heard the sharp claw were coming to Cape Claw. I hid my precious gold deep below the sand. Let me guess. You, now you don't know where it is. I may okay. Not what it used to be though, and now I've forgotten where I buried them. With the help of your little friend, you should be able to find them. Hmm. Return all four gold bars and I will help you on your quest. I have no idea how he intends to actually do anything to help us. Although he does seem convinced that he'll be able to. I actually don't remember what he does. <laughs> like I said, no, no practice file for this game, so a lot of these things will be uh, Fine. as new to me as they could be, having not played the game in years. Probably since it first came out. I mean, maybe once since then. Yeah! New item! You got a hunk of gold! You found a shiny gold bar. Yeah, if we give it to him, maybe he'll help us? Question mark? Hmm. Those don't usually end in question marks, but okay. Let's see. I don't see any more holes here to dig up the gold. Yeah, he's haven't figured it out yet. We're just going to be going around and having Tricky dig all these things up. If I remember correctly. Yeah, there's one in the middle there. I'm actually... The bridge is already extended. It doesn't matter what order I do this in. I'm just going to hop over here and go pick this up. I think this is this is one out here in the middle. Sorry about that, just then I think I might have bumped the mic just a bit. I'm not sure how loud that's going to be. I have a lot more power to edit the videos now that I've got Sony Vegas. Oh, what was that? I think it was a Botham Dad, because I didn't get this. Yeah, it was a Botham Dad. I have nine now. Okay, I didn't actually get to see it, because I was standing right on top of it when it appeared, and it just automatically collected it. Now we got another box over here. Yeah, there's an enemy there, Tricky. Get out of here. Is he going to come back up, or do I just have to start over and, like, back up? Try to get him to appear again? Whatever, not important. Alright, there's gold bar number two. And we come into this little cave area here. we got a door we can't do anything with. Get out of here. And we got another place for Tricky to do his job. Dig a hole in the ground. I think this one's actually fuel cells, though. Yeah, okay, there's a fuel cell. Hey, there's some scarabs here, too. I'll take those. No, fox. There you go. Lodge the staff under the rock, use leverage. There you go, high school physics at work. There's the other one. I was looking for it around the back there. And now Triggy's gonna be hungry, so I'll have to feed him before we do anything else. But I don't... Oh, I don't know where the other two are. Huh. We picked up that one there. I'm just gonna swim farther up along the beach and see if there's more over here. That way, we, we already got that one, Eric. Yeah, that was when we picked up that was the ball from dead. Alright, so let's see. Oh, we got some big guys over here. Howdy. Hey, hey, you can't block when I'm behind you, dude. What's the big idea here? There we go. That's what I want to see. And this definitely looks flammable. I'll just let... Oh, I touched it, and then Tricky started uh, asking for mushrooms. And I thought that Tricky had, like, ramped me and hurt me. I was like, jeez. Which, have I... Did I show that previously? That, that if you, uh... If you beat Tricky repeatedly, he'll actually, like, turn on you and breathe fire at you. Which I think is hilarious. Yeah, 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 come on. Dude, don't be, don't be like that now. Gotcha. 
Alright. Where's the last guy? I'm just going to beat this guy because I don't have enough magic to use the... Uh... Oh yeah, if you use the second combo here, I think it gives you... Yep, just enough. If you use the backwards combo, it gives you just enough uh, oomph on that last blow to take out their health. So that can make it a little bit easier for you. I think, yeah, we have another gold bar here. That's only three, though, and I'm not sure where the last one is. Hmm. I'm going to pick up these shrooms. Are they sleeping yet? No, I guess it's still technically daytime. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, well, here's the, the, where the last one is. I didn't even see that when I was fighting those guys. Let's go ahead and get tricky to dig it up. We got time. Dig, 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 dig. Oh, these two are right next to each other. Okay. Ah, pick it up already. Oh, we got the happy sound. Must have done something right. Alright, so we'll swim over to that far shore, and in the next episode of Let's Play Star Fox Adventures, we will return the gold bars to the high top and figure out just exactly what he's going to do to help us. See you guys then.